How's it going? Quiet now. Feels like I've suddenly gone deaf. Those old folks sure can get loud, huh? I don't mind it. What happened to uh, grab life's gifts while you can? Alan Wake. <laughs> My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Oh, my head's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. Take it you're not a fan, then, Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening, what will happen. Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! FBI! We want the writer! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck off! What are you doing? Scratch! It's closed! Stay down! Wait! I need a gun! No chance! FBI!
I had escaped the dark place. So had the dark presence. Scratch. He was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? I gotta get out of here. I needed to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. I need to protect myself. A gun and a flashlight. How nostalgic. He was still alive. These were the cultists the FBI were after. Were they letting themselves be taken? Or did the Dark Presence not discriminate? Head was unbearable. Scratch was getting closer, stronger than ever. I wish he was dead. eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey. Casey, I'm coming! Federal Bureau of Control. We'll take it from here. 
out cold. Wait, this is my case. This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. This is bullshit. Noted. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff's station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait! My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. He's my partner, damn it! Agent? I should be... Go home. Careful, moving quick. They think he's a para-utilitarian. No. Fuck this. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Tor and Odin were in the photo with the clicker. They might know how it works. I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. back with Pat Maine, and we've got a very special guest today on the program. It's artisan cuckoo clock designer Terry Feldman. Terry, how are we today? Hey there, Pat. You're in just fine. I'm a super big fan of the show. What, what a treat to be on with you today. doesn't budge.
Oh, my goodness. What happened here? Did you hear something? Some sort of noise outside. Huh? Uh, not sure. I can't get through this. I need bolt cutters. The favorite park benches in Bright Falls. And now, I just want to clear something. They've marred a local landmark, a piece of Bright Falls heritage.
all flew away into the sky. You say you didn't get a good look at your sailors. No, I mean, yes. I, I, I didn't get any kind of look. Or actually, scares them right off. It wasn't exactly up. I bet it's those young staff members. Bunch of hooligans. I have things to do, and this is not the right way.
Hello? Saga! It's Tor, your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing. Oh, fuck! Fuck you, you fucking hag! Fuck! Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. More of those rhymes. I can use this charm on my bracelet. Another locked box.
another Alex Casey lunchbox? dog sweaters at the Sunday market. And while you're there, go visit Wendy Davis and grab some of our sponsor's famous beef jerky. Up next, we've got Deer Festa. Yes. <laughs> 
Tor and Odin claim to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. Meet the mayor, huh? Maybe I should swing by Suomi Hall. Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> Old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Tor had abandoned everything. Saga, this way. like another perfect morning in paradise. I agree, Ilmo. A perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. Oh shit, this coffee is shit. Yako, did you just drink a regular brand coffee? I did. My perfect morning is ruined. And all because of your shit coffee. If only we could have good coffee. Hey, what? what's that sound? <gasps> Ilmo, look, it's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh, wow. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better lovemaking, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls Blend Organic Coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today at Coffee World and the old dear diner. And don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deer Fest. Mm. Somebody here is Wake's number one fan. Rose?
More of those kids' lunchboxes. I'd lost you. Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Torn Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. That's some fascinating Artie, network, this Mandy is your May. Home. You don't What's your inspiration? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Away, but I know. It is what it wants it. to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled. When I was pregnant, socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Hello there, Saga Anderson. Hey, Pasin, name won't make the man worse. Even a Swedish name. I'm Arti. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, old gods of Asgard. My pals, the Berkele Vikings. Were you in the band? Minag? No, no. Berkele, satana, en olven. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. The poet came down to the lake to call is not good for you when a hurry is not there. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. Norman, put some clothes on. What if that towel slipped? No one wants to see your meat basket. No, it is a dream. Mandy May and Norman said Tor is hurt. 
why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? <sighs> it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only. 